Today, we're taking a look at some of my favorite tech for the month of October that costs under $50. So everything you see in this video costs $50 or less. That was the threshold we were going for here. And my name is Tyler, this is Nanotech. Let's hop in. First up is the Fixture Gaming S1. And what this does is it allows you to play your Nintendo Switch using a pro controller on the go, on your couch, in the bed, wherever you're wanting to play your Nintendo Switch and not wanting to use your Joy-Cons because who wants to use their Joy-Cons? When I first picked up the Fixture S1, you could only get it via their Indiegogo campaign, but since then, they've actually launched it and have it available on Amazon for $34.99. Now, I will have links to every product you see here today down below in the description. I'll also include a link to their Indiegogo campaign if you wanna check that out as well. And this is probably my favorite item on the list. That's why we started with it because I've been seriously on the search for a solution to using a pro controller with my Switch when on the go, even though we're not on the go a whole lot now, but when on the go and when sitting on my couch or laying in my bed or whatever, and this works so incredibly well because it slides legitimately just into the normal sort of Joy-Con section of the Switch and then boom, you're good to go. And it's completely adjustable to basically any angle that you want. Uh, you can have it sit right down on the controller or you can have it completely extended out like that. And it also works as an actual just stand for your Nintendo Switch. So it actually has a rubber sort of mat on the bottom of it. And it can just sit there on a table or on a, you know, when you're in the airplane, you have the fold out in the airplane. Like it's just, it's a fantastic solution for $34.99 on Amazon. Of course, again, I believe you can still pick it up on Indiegogo for about $30. Next up, we've got a quick one, but I get asked about this all the time on my other channel. And that is the PlayStation Lite right there. Now it's by Paladone and you can pick it up on Amazon for $34.99 as well. It just worked out that both the S1 and this were both $34.99, but it has three modes. It has a normal mode where it's just lit up normally, which is the one that I typically have it on all the time. It also has a color phasing mode where it slowly lights up each of the different buttons. And lastly, it has a music or just sound reactive mode where it will react to your voice, react to the music, react to basically any sounds that it hears around it. And this actually hooks up just via a micro USB cable and you just plug it into a micro USB sort of power adapter and you're good to go. You can place this in a backdrop like how I do it. Of course, they can basically go anywhere that you could find for this little sign to go and it looks great. And of course, if you're enjoying today's video, consider going down there and hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and wanna be here for more of the tech content, consider going down there hitting that red subscribe button. Next up is something I specifically picked up for this month because WoW Shadowlands is supposed to release. And of course, imagine this for me picking up the next item until recording right now, WoW Shadowlands got delayed, but that is the Logitech G600 MMO mouse. Now, if you're in the market for an MMO mouse, even though WoW Shadowlands did get delayed, you can still use this for actually a lot of games. It comes in very handy for even more games than just MMOs. But if you are looking for an MMO mouse, this is about as good as it gets for something under $50. Now, the mouse itself is actually several years old at this point. I believe it came out in like the early 2010s, which is kind of crazy but there's just a lot that I like about it, especially for the fact that it's only $39.99. And some basic sort of stats or specs about this really quick so we don't spend too much time on the mouse. Essentially, you're getting 8,200 DPI, which of course is adjustable. You also get 20 different programmable buttons throughout the entirety of the mouse. You can customize the lights on the side keys, so if RGB is your thing, you're still getting this for $39.99. And also, my favorite part about this mouse specifically is that it has a dual dish design, so it's actually actually easier to know which button you're pressing without having to actually look down at your mouse. So you know sort of which section you're in whenever you're pressing your thumb and you're in the middle of a game. You just don't really have time to look down to figure out exactly where your hand is. If you're in the market for an MMO mouse, something under 50 bucks, this right here is something I would highly, highly recommend. Now this next item I picked up a little bit ago because I was in the market for essentially like a not one for all, but all for one type item. So that way I didn't have to drag a bunch of just tools up here when I need to adjust things on my camera or my PC or whatever it might be. And also something I could easily travel with. And that was this right here. This is the small rig folding tool set coming in at $20.99. This thing is great. It's compact. It has seven different tools. So you got your Allen wrenches right here. Then on this side, you got of course a flathead screwdriver, a couple of different size hexagons, and then a Phillips head screwdriver as well. It also has some threaded storage holes on the side, but I found that they're really not deep enough for any real usability. But even with that, this thing is still super handy to have. 
and at about $21, you can toss it in your bag, you can just set it on your desk, it's not taking up much room, and you always have something within arm's reach to work on stuff, and it's just, it's so nice to have. Oh, and I almost forgot, it actually comes with its own little like storage case, and even inside that, that's not all, it even comes with a little pouch. So you can store that right there, and then you can put a couple other things there. So for $29.99, the presentation is nice, the tool has been great, and uh, I just, yeah, highly recommend it. Now, staying on the same note, this is kind of in that same category here where just like nice little things that end up coming in handy. And I was tired of being places and not having like a USB cable on hand. So this right here attaches to your keychain, attaches to your backpack, and you've always got it on hand. And if you're like, okay, well tell me what it is, Nano. So on one side it has a USB-A port, and then on the other side it has a micro USB port, but it doesn't end there. Inside the actual sort of storage case, you have a micro USB to USB-C adapter that you can throw on there. And now anything that supports micro USB, anything that supports USB-C, which presuming the next iPhone is going to switch over to this, hopefully, then you'll basically be good to go with all your devices at that point with this one singular high-speed cable. And it still doesn't end there. Have you ever been somewhere and you needed to reseat your you know, SIM card? Maybe someone you know, needs help with something, whatever it might be. So yes, if all that wasn't enough, it also comes with its own SIM card ejection tool. And all of this is $14.95 right now over on Amazon. And uh, I think it was a little more when I first picked it up, but this thing is coming super handy, super small, super compact and it's just it's just nice to have it really is and then to finish up this episode we have two more items now both of these are the only items that i actually picked up specifically for this video everything else i already had including the logitech g600 the one that you saw in today's video is a new one but i used to use it back in the day that's how i know that it's actually old but actually i had a friend that tasked me with finding him an on budget MMO mouse that he could use that would also be good, right? And not go to crap after so long. So I was like, let me see if they still make the G600. And they did. So I, of course, advised him to pick that one up. And then in the same time, I went and picked one up to include in this video. But the last things on the list are both items I've been looking for and actually had in my car for months. And for the Anchor, <laughs> the Underdesk headphone mount, actually for over a year. Now, the Elevation Lab Anchor does come in at $11.95, and it was something I was looking for a solution to stop leaving my headphones up on the desk. I also didn't want an on-desk headphone mount because I just didn't want more clutter on top of my desk, and I was tired of leaving them on my armchair as well. So I went ahead and finally picked this up for $11.95, and it actually comes with a 3M tape that you need to attach it to the bottom of your desk, and it's just ready to go. And of course, if you ever need to detach, it actually, actually tells you to, because it's very strong, <laughs> it is very strong. It tells you to grab like a hair dryer or something like that, heat it up a little bit, and then it should tear off. But so far, it's been pretty awesome having that and having somewhere to just hook my headphones on. It's been great. And then the last item is the PowerPort Atom 3, the slim model. Now I was actually looking for something that could go under my desk and make my life a lot easier when I'm trying to charge all my different devices. And this one actually works with an iPad Pro, which is something I was specifically looking for. So this is a 65 watt four port USB charger, which costs $45.99. This is actually the most expensive item out of everything that we looked at here today. And as I mentioned, the reason why I chose this one in particular was because it does have a 45 watt USB-C port. So that way it can actually charge an iPad Pro and even some of the smaller model MacBooks as well. So you're getting that 45 watt USB-C port as well as three other ports that do support fast charging for both Apple and Samsung devices. And what's even better about this slim charger is that they know that you're probably going to be using it for something under a desk or something like that. And it actually comes with the adhesive tape that you need to attach it under Underneath your desk and there you go that was some of the best tech to pick up here in October for under $50 now I do want to ask because this is gonna be a monthly series if you have any of your own favorite tech that's under $50 that you think I should include in one of these episodes feel free to let me know down below in the comments section and as I mentioned earlier if you guys did enjoy today's video consider hitting that like button if you didn't enjoy it you made it this far then consider hitting that dislike button it is what it is and consider subscribing and joining the community over here and being ready for all the videos that will drop right here on this channel but that has been today's video have a great great day keep on keeping on tyler here signing off i'll see you all in the next video bye guys